Welcome back to Omni Factory. I have got a huge expansion of deep mob learning to show you today. Right over here. Look at that beautiful thing. So the build is actually a little complicated setting all the condos and stuff. I, I tried to record it and it just doesn't work well in the video. So I'm just going to tell you about what I did here afterwards. So I went through all the data models and figured out what I needed for this stage of the game and needed to make 13 simulation chambers. So I have in each of these, I've got a different data model. I've got Enderman a couple times and the Shulker a couple times to get everything powered up. But then everything else, I've got the spider and a skeleton, things like that. Another Enderman like that. So on the top of each simulation chamber is the gray conduit. That's bringing in your pulsing, pulsating polymer clay from my cobble works. Then in the bottom, there's a white conduit taking everything out of each of the uh, simulation chambers. Those, that white conduit then goes over here to the bottom here where I have a drawer controller and it dumps everything into this drawer system, which you see right here. On the first column, I'm storing my overworldy and hellish and um, extraterrestrial matters. And then the other spots here are my pristine matters. I got one drawer for each type that I can make right now. Now here on the back side, I've got a special color coded conduit for each um, pristine matter, pulling it out directly out of the drawer. So each of my loot fabricators is preset to the ingredient that I want to loot and color coded to match the right pristine matter from the drawer system over there. In some cases, I've got two loot fabricators set up for the same um, pristine matter, like to which pristine matter makes both glowstone and redstone. So on all of these loot fabricators, I pull out again on the white and send it back to the drawer controller and that gets sorted into these items, these drawers right here. So here's my 11 things that I'm making right now. The diamonds are getting fed back into my power and the ender pearls are fed back into my cobble works to make more clay. I'm also getting silver, copper, um, nickel coins, coal tin, lead, sulfur, glowstone, and redstone. Okay, due to the expansion of the cobble, I also expanded my uh, dynamo power system. I've got four dynamos here, each pulling about, um, making about 3,800 right now. And I can go to a max of 6,250. That's about 13, 26,000. And I'm, right now I'm using about 14,000. My initial copper works was not nearly enough to satisfy the clay demands of this setup over here. So I kind of did a little shoehorn in here. Um, I needed more alloy smelters to make the polymer clay. So I kind of took the one out from there and built in a three more up top. I also needed more glass on this side. So again, I had to put four furnaces over there and kind of fit this in the line. And I had a, one last bottleneck was the advanced chemical reactor. I needed a second one of those, so I have two of those working right now. And I also needed uh, the um, electrolyzer. wasn't quite strong enough, so I actually put in an advanced electrolyzer here instead of the uh, basic one. But that's given me a positive return on clay, and I actually have a full drawer of clay here. One of the other big projects I did, I routed my cables through the floor. Let me show you what that looks like in my basement. So I've cleared out a whole basement here that's going to be under my whole working area. And then my cables, my power and conduits, my power conduits and any item conduits in my AE2 system will all run their cables through here and just pop up from underground to where I need them. That'll keep the top level free of dire wire. 
I've also been feeding the blast furnace uh, plenty of materials and I've got a, a large supply of aluminum an energetic alloy and a little bit of vibrant here going along. There's some stainless steel and some cooper nickel as well. My next project for today is to clean up the front of this base. I kind of put all this stuff up here along here temporarily to get it uh, up and running. I'm going to now move it all and organize it put it in its permanent home. I did craft up a bunch of ME conduit. Um, it's cheaper than the glass cable so um, I'm going to use that to run the long spans underground. Okay, for some reason the MD conduits can glitch out on game load, so you should always connect your um, AE2 items with the, the glass cable and then switch from the glass cable down to the uh, ME conduit, like so. Okay, I have my uh, conduits all run underneath in my basement. I also put up a couple mega torches here just to keep the monsters from spawning around here. Then up on the surface, I cleaned out almost all of my junk machines and I'm going to have those set up elsewhere. I did leave the uh, reconstructor here. I'm not, I don't have a good place for it yet. But over here on my AE2 system, on the back side of where all my um, computers are going to go, I've got the uh, energy cells and inscribers and things like that set up. My last action item is to put a storage bus on the drawer controller, like so. Now with my storage bus attached to the drawer system, I've got all the drawer inventory available to me here in AE2. I can see the, uh, the matters coming in and out and stuff like that. And here I'm just going to go ahead and pattern the alternate recipe for uh, iron ingots and for gold ingots. Now I can just craft iron and gold on demand. Except I only have one processor. All right, and here I went ahead and built out my the rest of my crafting computers. I've got two larger ones and then two smaller ones that allow me to split up my crafts uh, for big crafts and small crafts. Okay, that about wraps up this episode. Just for a quick recap, we got our deep mob learning greatly enhanced. We also upgraded our uh, polymer clay production. And we cleaned up our base a little bit and put everything underground. And we also did a large uh, increase on our AE2 computing capacity. So we'll, we're ready to set up some auto crafting next episode. See you then.